Diego Ranjau and I'm here to discuss child obesity and how we should provide students K through 12 a healthier lunch. For starters, I've, I am a K through 12 student and I have seen how unhealthy, greasy food they're serving and how most of all the kids just bring their own snacks like chips, chocolate, and how the DACA um, students in our school serve um, snacks like chips, um, popcorn, chocolate bars, slushies, and all of that. And that's basically all that students eat. Some people bring their lunch, but yeah, sure, but that's a few. And many kids are getting obese. Like last year, I saw my friend, she, uh, she was skinny, but all she ate was chips for lunch. And I seen her recently, and now she's gotten a lot bigger. And that's what I'm talking about, how we shouldn't feed lunches that students do not want to eat we should serve healthier um lunches for example more chicken more protein um for maybe salads and we shouldn't we shouldn't um sell too many snacks on school school snacks should be limited because if we just sell them on the daily students will keep eating them and that's really not necessary students shouldn't be eating snacks all day and if we provide a healthier lunch, students would be more energized, more focused in class. Students wouldn't be daydreaming. Students wouldn't be sleeping because that's all snacks do. They just drain your energy. Yeah, you might have an energy for a few seconds, but after that, you just daydream throughout the day. And and honestly, maybe healthier food choices in school might, might clear a student's head, mental mental state and might even have them joining sports activities etc and that's why we should start maybe signing petitions may maybe gathering ptas from all over schools from dad's district and talking to the president of disd because i i've seen students um grab their food and look, in, look at it with disgust and throwing it away but no we shouldn't be serving we shouldn't be serving the food they give give us. Like meatloaf, no one eats that. Everyone just throws it away. And that is really unnecessary for students to be wasting food. So how about we, we start letting students eat healthier and let them choose their own foods. For example, um, fill out a survey every, every beginning of the year. Maybe talk to, instead of only the PTA and and the student DISD board, we should have students decide what they want to eat. Um, and yeah, I think healthy food choice should be an option. For example, salads. Salads should be provided for students to eat and less snacks, etc. like that. I just believe that students are getting very unhealthy, even from elementary school students. I've seen many elementary school students just eating chips like they have chips on them every day and that's why we should start start serving healthy food choices for starting at elementary schools because we are serving our future junk food and junk food's not really good for us so therefore we have to start now because many people don't don't understand that their children could have a disease by eating too many um, unnecessary food, junk food. They could have asthma, they could have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and that's why we need to begin now because many, many students, if they keep eating junk food, they will have diseases. And who wants a, a district full of a bunch of kids with diseases that can't focus in school, can't participate in school, and therefore we have to make a stand now. Thank you for listening.